Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to change row names of a data frame or a matrix in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and the first examples of this tutorial are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object appears. And we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data frame. So as you can see our data frame contains three columns and five rows and the row names of this data frame are ranging from one to five. So if we want to change the row names of this data frame we can apply the code that you can see in lines six and seven. So in line six of the code, I'm first duplicating our data frame to keep an original version of our data frame. And then I'm applying the row names function in line seven of the code to this new data frame. And to this, I'm assigning a vector of numeric values. So if you run lines six and seven of the code, you can see that at the top right of RStudio, a new data frame object appears, which is called data one. And if you click on this data object, you can see that a new data frame is appearing. And this data frame contains exactly the same values as our first data frame, but the row names have been changed. So in this first example, I have explained how to replace our row names by a numeric vector. However, it is also possible to exchange our row names by characters or by letters. And this is what I want to show you in the next example. So in lines nine and 10 of the code, I'm again duplicating our data. And then I'm also applying the row names function, but this time I'm assigning the letters A, B, C, D, and E to our row names. So if you run lines nine and 10 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that another data object appears, which is called data2. And if you click on this data object, you can see that our new data frame has the row names A, B, C, D, and E. Now in the first two examples of this video, I have explained how to change all row names of a data frame. However, it is also possible to exchange only one particular row name of a data frame. And this is what I'm showing in the next example in lines 12 and 13 of the code. So in line 12, I'm again duplicating our data frame. And in line 13, I'm applying the row names function again. And then I'm specifying that I want to exchange only the second row name of our data frame. And to this, I'm assigning the value 99. So if you run lines 12 and 13 of the code, another data frame appears at the top right. And this time we have exchanged only one specific value of our data frame. So as you can see, the second row name was exchanged by the value 99. In the first examples of this video, I have shown you how to change row names of a data frame object. However, I want to show you another example in which I'm replacing the row names of a matrix. And for this, we first need to create an example matrix, as you can see in line 15 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new matrix appears at the top right, which is called my matrix. And we can have a look at this matrix by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our new matrix has empty row names. So right now you can see the index positions of the rows one, two, three, and four. However, this matrix does not contain any real row names yet. So we can change that by running line 18 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm again using the row names function, but this time I'm applying the row names function to our matrix object. And then I'm using the nrow function to create row names ranging from one to the number of rows of our matrix. So if you run line 18 of the code, our matrix is updated and we can see that by running line 19 of the code. And now you can see that our row names are ranging from one to four. And this time we have created real row names instead of just the index positions of the rows as in the original matrix that we have created before. So in this video, I have explained how to change the row names of a data frame or a matrix in the R programming language. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.